Hello students, welcome in Rayat Online School Education. Myself, Mrs. Nimbarkar B.S. from Yashwantrao Chavan Institute of Science, Sata. Students, today we are going to see our fourth poem in poetry section that is Have You Or You Are Tomorrow by Edgar Guest. Before starting, the actual poem, we have to see the important icebreakers activities given in our textbook. So, see the first activity. Complete the following well. Different ways to help others. Helping others is humanity. One answer is given that is moral support. We can help the needy people by giving moral support if he needs that type of help. Other three are expected that students should write. We can write at second place that provide manpower. We can provide manpower if the person needs it badly. Third one that is very important help that is economic help. And fourth one that is Domestic help should be given to the people or needy people. See the next activity. Discuss with your partner about the different idioms or proverbs related to the word tomorrow. One is done for you. Students, as tomorrow this word is used in our title of the poem, here, we should underline the importance of the word. One is given. First one, never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Means, the things which you can do today, you have to do it today only. Don't postpone the things or work for tomorrow. Second one, tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Third one, tomorrow never comes. Fourth one, pessimism drops the curtains of tomorrow. Means, pessimistic person can't see his bright future. Our next activity is, when you think of your future plans, you think of First one, that is career. While preparing for future plans, first thing you think that is career. Then, financial condition of your family. Next one and very important one, that is higher education of yours. And fourth one, need of the family at that time. Students, while making future plans about your career, you make all these considerations. But while making plans for examination, you can also think about reading and understanding of the subject. Then while preparing for examination, you also think about doubt clearing and revision of the text. For preparing college functions, you prepare the list of the duties. You assign work to the team members. Then you make confirm the date and time of the college function. Like this way, for examination and college function, you prefer planning well. Like that, only you can make preparations or planning or function at your home. First of all, you think or you do the cleaning of the house. Second thing, an important thing you do while planning for function at home, that is sending invitation to your relatives. Then arranging snacks and for cold drinks. Like this way, we plan everything in our life. As this poem 
is written by Edgar Guest. We have to see information about the poet Edgar Guest. Edgar Guest, 1881 to 1959. He was born in England and was brought to the United States when he was 10 years old. He began his writing career in 1895 at the age of only 14. Edgar Guest is known as people's poet for his simple style and optimistic tone of writing. Guest is an American writer of newspaper and magazine. Before starting the actual poem, we have to concentrate on the title because title gives us outline of the poem. The title, Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? is a question to the readers whether they have done anything to improve the life of another human being or not. It is up to you whether you have a better future or not. From the title, we can guess what might be the theme of the poem. The themes first can be every tomorrow is a, an outcome of what you do today. Second one, tomorrow belongs to people who prepare for it today. God bless the people who do good for human beings. Now, we have seen the icebreakers activities related to the poem, then information about the poet. Now, today we will see first stanza of Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? Is anybody happier because you passed his way? Does anyone remember that you spoke to him today? This day is almost over and its toiling time is through. Is there anyone to utter now a kindly word of yours? Here in first answer, the poet Edgar Gates starts the poem with a question addressing to you that is the reader of the poem. He asks if today you have made anybody's day better by offering kind words or help. Further, the poet goes on asking, anybody will remember you because you spoke to him today politely. The poet is saying once again, the day is getting over after long hard work of yours. But have you said any or at least one kind word to anyone to make a positive impact on that person? Here in first answer, the poet is asking rhetorical questions and he is making the readers to think about the behavior, their daily behavior for the human beings. In this stanza, some unknown words are there. They are toiling time, that means hard or difficult time or work. Next, through means done with or finished. Next one, utter that is to speak. Then see the second stanza. Did you give a cheerful greeting to the friend who came along or a cheerly short of how to you and then vanish in the throng? Were you selfish poor and simple as you rushed along the way? Or is someone mighty grateful for a deed 
you did today. Students, here also in second stanza, some questions are asked by the poet. Poet again asks the reader if you have given a cheerful greeting for a friend who may have come to you for seeking help or did you just neglect him and just say quick hello that is howdy to the needy friend and you vanished hurriedly in the crowd that is in the throng you may have the intention of avoiding that needy friend of yours but see the poet is saying but see you are going to pay for your this selfish and uncaring act means in second stanza the poet is warning us for our this type of behavior if you are behaving like this way to the needy person or needy friend then you are going to pay for your deed the unknown words in this stanza are cheerful means happy churlish that is rude how do howdy that is friendly greeting and throng that is crowd students see the next stanza can you say tonight in parting with the days that is sleeping past that you help a single brother of the many that you passed is a single heart rejoicing over what you did or say does a man whose hopes were fading now with courage look ahead in the third stanza he says at the end of the day if you can proudly if you means readers if readers can proudly or honestly say today you had a single human being if because of your help a single heart a single human being or needy person is happy or satisfied because of your help the poet again is asking the question to the readers have you encouraged at least a man a single man who have lost all his hopes for life for bright future and have become pessimistic about the life he is living like this way the poet is pushing the readers to do good things for human being here in third stanza some unknown words are there first one sleeping fast that is moving fast running fast second one brother that means citizen or a person fading that is vanishing courage confident students see the fourth stanza and the last one of the stanza of our poem did you waste the day or lose it was it well or sorely spent did you leave a trail of kindness or a scars of discontent as you close your eyes in slumber do you think that god would say you have all one more tomorrow by the work you did today see last stanza is very appealing to the readers finally in this stanza the poet is asking very strictly if you have bested today also like all other days of your life 
not having done anything remarkable, memorable for human being. Again, he is asking readers, because of your deeds, have you left behind feeling of kindness, politeness, or a patch or wound of discontent? When you are taking some sleep at night, do you think God will come to you and grant you one more blissful tomorrow for the good deeds you have done today? See, unknown words in this fourth stanza are Waste your day means do nothing for whole day. Sorely, that is greatly. Trell, that is stress. Scar, that is mark of wound. And slumber means sleep. Thus, poet indirectly means that each day we exist, we must make our living useful. Students, here our poem is ended. We will see poetic devices used in this poem. See the chart. Poetic device alliteration is used in the lines. Some examples are given here. First example, this day is almost over and its toiling time is through. See here, the sound of T, that is its toiling time through is repeated. Sound of T is repeated. So this can be the example of alliteration from the poem. Second example is given. Were you selfish, poor and simple, as you rushed along the, the way. Here, selfish, simple, as, rushed, here, as sound is repeated. So, we can have this line as the example of alliteration. See, interrogation, this poetic device is also used in the whole poem. Some examples are given. First one, is anybody happier because you passed his way? Here, interrogation means question, asking question, whether it can be WH question or rhetorical question. Second one, did you waste the day or lose it? Was it well or sorely spent? See, in the whole poem, we can observe that each stanza starts with question. So, that can be the examples, that lines can be the examples of interrogation in the poem. Third one, that is inversion. Inversion means proper Sentence structure is not observed at all. Examples are there. First one, were you selfish, poor, and simple as you rushed along the way? Second one, is a single heart rejoicing over what you did or say? See? Here, proper word order or sentence structure, that is subject, verb, object, is not observed. So, that lines can be counted as the example of inversion. Students, today we, will have, we have seen the poem and from this poem, which moral is taught? See? One should consider, consider one's actions and deeds carefully and plan accordingly for a better future. This poem is life-changing poem. So students, 
from today only we all should decide that our life should be fruitful should be useful for the needy people in this society thank you very much